y'all. So I just wanted to film a chitty chatty get ready with me. So that's what I'm going to do. I've actually filmed one of these before and the footage got deleted. I don't know how I didn't delete it. It just kind of did. And I was like halfway done with editing it. So tonight when I'm film finished filming this, I'm going to edit, upload it and be done with it. So that way that doesn't happen again. Cause I like cried when that happened. It was very upsetting. So let's go ahead and get started. So I just was going to update you. And also I've had new subscribers. So I thought I would like tell y'all a bit about me and also to my old subscribers who, you know, don't know a bunch about me maybe. <laughs> I mean, I'm very open. So I don't know, just going to do that. So first of all, before I do my makeup, I like to moisturize. So I'm using the Kate Somerville uh, I'll put the cap on. Okay. I'm using the Kate Somerville Nourish Moisturizer. It looks like that. This is not going to be a beauty channel, by the way. Oh my god. That just squirted everywhere. That's what she said. I said that's what he said. Sorry. Childish, I know. That's Michael Scott from The Office seeping into me. Michael Scott is annoying, but also amazing. <laughs> if you don't know who he is, what are you doing? Like, honestly. I have very dry skin. Um, I don't have oily skin, it's very dry, irritated skin. I actually have like some eczema or something going on in my scalp, but like it peels. And by the way, this is me without any makeup. As you can tell, probably I'm very red and eyebrows are, I actually have really good eyebrows, but I pick them. <laughs> so they would be so thick and so full, but I pick them. So yeah. And this is my natural hair. I just washed it. I didn't blow it dry or anything. This is just my hair goes down to really far. <laughs> um, about down to my, it goes down to past my belly button. So I've got long hair and yeah, if you can see I have kind of like a mixture between like it's wavy and I have some tight curls. I was a really curly headed child, but then this happened and now some of the curls fallen out but some of it has stayed so i kind of just have wavy hair but not like naturally curly <laughs> now i'm going to use my urban decay quick fix spray so this helps me with the dry skin tremendously and i like spray this throughout my entire makeup routine <laughs> so because i love it so i basically just have to really prep my skin and make it more moisturized than what it generally is without all of this stuff. Mm. And it smells like coconuts. It's like the best smell ever. Then it gets your shirt all wet, hair wet, so. But yeah, it's just the Urban Decay Quick Fix. I think I already said that, but I really, really like it. It smells amazing. <laughs> so for foundation, I've been using the NARS foundation in the color Oslo. I'm very, very, very pale, just very pale. And I have to get the lightest shade and everything. And I actually can't shop at drugstores because they never carry my shade. There are some high end places that carry my shade and I was would use Rihanna's Fenty foundation in the lightest shade because that shade matches me. And it does the very lightest shade matches me. But I can't because it dries my skin out too much. I want to try it again. <laughs> But I kind of don't want to spend that much money on a foundation for it to just not work. It just left my skin feeling like a Sahara Desert because I tried it on at the store. Like I did a full face of it on the store at the store and it was not a pleasant experience. I really should have wet my sponge before I put the foundation on my hand. Like that probably would have been a good idea. Let me get my dirty ass sponge. I'm using this Real Technique sponge. It's my favorite. I need my red shorts out of the bag. Oh, so I use a Real Technique sponge and I'm just gonna like dab into this and put it on. And sponges help the best with me and to lay my foundation down because it just does because I have dry skin and using a sponge helps a lot better. And I would say this foundation is a medium to full coverage, like buildable, but I generally 
don't go for full coverage, but unfortunately most of the brands that make stuff in my shade, except the Rihanna Fenty Beauty that is more medium coverage, does full coverage. So that is unfortunate because I actually am not a fan of full coverage foundation. I prefer a more natural look. I try to make this as natural as I can. I don't like to go crazy and it just really helps get rid of a lot of my redness so much better. So I wanted to tell y'all where I've been because I've been MIA. I'm gonna film tonight though, <laughs> some videos. I've just been MIA. I haven't really been posting very frequently and if I do post, I post like once every two weeks or something, which I don't like because that's just not what I want to do. But I was so, so crazy busy with school. I'm in college. I and like this would be my third year, but I had to defer a year because I got sick. And so I didn't drop out of college or anything, but I had to defer. That's what ended up happening. And it, I don't know, it put me behind obviously, but I don't want to say it put me behind. Everybody goes at their own pace. There's no rule that says you have to graduate when you're 22. So, I mean, I'm 21. I'm not going to graduate when I'm 22. There's no way I'm going to be able to do that. More like 23, 24. Just, oh, this is the uh, Fenty Beauty Concealer in the lightest shade 100. This one I can do. It's a little drying, but not nearly as drying as the foundation. But I got it because it conceals me perfectly. And it matches, like, it doesn't, well, the concealer I have doesn't match because it's a brightening thing. So I do my chin and then I do my forehead, which I know some people don't go this excessive with their concealer, which is fine. You don't have to. Like, it's cool, but I do. So I like to brighten, especially my under eyes because I don't sleep very much. So now I'm taking the sponge again and blending. But yeah, it's just been crazy, crazy busy, and I've been trying to get everything done. I'm on spring break this week, but I'm still going to have to work because my teachers assign stuff over the break, which is so annoying. So I'm going to have to work. A lot of my teachers were like, we're not going to make you do anything. Like, enjoy your spring break. And I was like, yay. And then the two teachers were like, nope, sorry. <laughs> You're gonna work, which is frustrating to me, but I guess it is what it is. And then I'm gonna put in the top. It's just been a little chaotic, but I'm glad that I have a break where I'm not gonna have to work like crazy and do like a bunch of crazy deadlines. I'm gonna have a week where I can at least take a few days to not do anything. And I, my spring break actually ended Wednesday night because I took my final midterm on Wednesday. And so I haven't had anything to do since then, which has been nice. And I mainly rested on Thursday. And then I was like, today, make some videos. Like, you need to. <laughs> After I do my foundation concealer step, which looks better and brightened, I look like a ghost right now. The lights are not helping. I have a ring light and it's like really like making me look like a ghost. I look like a ghost all the time anyways, but I'm going to be taking the Laura Mercier setting, translucent setting powder. I will be using this and I'm just going to take my sponge and do that and then do that. And yes, I have dry skin, so I don't bake long, like at all. Like I do my eyebrows and then I take it off because... I just can't have it on that long. But I do like to set the foundation in place because where I live, I live in Texas and it's hot here. I like to set the foundation because that way it won't melt off my skin in the heat. I do bake and it's it's drying so much right here because of the Fenty concealer. So I'm already gonna just take the under eye off and which is what I normally do. And I do it before my eyebrows. I let the rest of it sit but my under eyes are literally so dry because of the concealer, but I like the concealer that I dust the baking off pretty quick just because I don't want to be uncomfortably dry. So, but it set it in place, it did its trick, like it's fine. Eyebrows. So 
I pick my eyebrows. I have really bad anxiety, depression, more anxiety than depression. I've had depression really bad and I still do, but like I'm not actively in, de in a depression, depressive state. It kind of just depends on how life's going. Right now I'm okay. Just still horrible anxiety. That has always been my biggest problem. I knew I forget something and I forgot my thumb or my eyebrow brush. So I'll be right back. So sorry about that, but had to get my eyeshadow brush. So I've actually been filling in my eyebrows way before everybody else was. I was started picking them in fifth grade. And so around fifth, sixth grade, I started to take eyeshadow and fill in my eyebrows. <laughs> I don't use eyebrow pencil because I hate those. I always do better with eyeshadow. So I take the darkest eyeshadow in the palettes and I, except if it's black, and I just fill them in like that. And I already have the natural shape, so I just color them in. <laughs> kind of hard to do these in the, just the viewfinder. That's kind of crazy. So funny. I actually got my very first hate comment a few weeks ago it was so crazy it was like kind of excited <laughs> like i never want to get hate obviously like but it was just a positive way to look at the situation like oh i got hate so i'm making it but no i'm just kidding it was like it's kind of funny because i have a southern accent because my mom is from alabama and now i live in texas but i'm from indiana southern indiana however my mom has always taught me how to talk so I have always had a southern accent. It can get, when I'm angry or upset, it gets super thick. Like I'm talking, my accent gets like ridiculous. You can hardly understand me. That is what can happen. Normally I try to control it as best as I can because I mean, I do get made fun of for it sometimes. But basically that's what this person did. He was like, you sound like you were born in the back of a pickup truck. And I was like, and I just responded that's because I was baby and like put a winky face or whatever trying to be like kill him with kindness I, I was not born in the back of a pickup truck not that there's anything wrong with that but I got the joke that he was trying to make honestly it wasn't as brutal as I thought it was gonna be like it was like not the most original thing I've ever heard but it was not horrible either so so now I'm gonna just take the remaining bake off my forehead Attention. Okay, so just some other general things about me. I guess I could tell you my height. I'm five one, barely. I might actually be five foot. I can't remember if I'm five foot or five one. Very short. I'm the shortest person in my family. Everybody in my family is taller than me by like a lot. And so, except my mama is five three, so not a ton taller than me. But most of the people in my family are significantly taller than me. So it's kind of like a recessive gene in our family for women to be short. I got that. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna do eyes next. And I think I'm just gonna do a neutral look. Maybe I'll do like a smoky eye. Let's try smoky eye. I haven't done none of those in eons. Oh, I'm gonna spritz my face real quick to give it more moisture again. I told you I use this thing throughout my routine like crazy. It helps with that drying that I feel really badly with the <laughs> with the Fenty concealer. <laughs> God bless. That was rough. That was real rough. You guys, I didn't put my Tatcha primer on. Oh my God. Why didn't I do that? I didn't put my Tatcha silk cream primer on my face before I put my foundation on. I am so pissed. It's in the bathroom and everything. I got the little travel size one to see if I'd like it. And it's lit. I literally forgot. I'm. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not okay. I guess I could tell y'all what I've been reading since I've been MIA on this channel. I've just been reading just whatever really. So right now I'm like really in the mood to read contemporary or thrillers. That's like been my most reached for stuff i'm just not reaching for fantasy right now and i'm not sure why that is i'm just not and i don't really know what it's about or why that's kind of what's been going on because when i first started i watched or i read fantasy like crazy and i think that's my problem like i overdid it like i was like 
overkill with the fantasy and I really still lack fantasies like don't get me wrong I'm reading right now the uh, final empire the first book in the Mistborn trilogy like I'm still reading fantasy just not as actively as I was and it takes me a lot longer to read fantasies and right now with school and everything I'm kind of just looking for a quick read which sounds bad but I mean it is what it is and I'm still trying to get through it I am reading that to Matt I was reading it before I started this I really would like to just sit down soon and maybe I will this break and commit to it and just make a vlog about it. I've already read like the first 320 something pages of it. So like that'll be pretty annoying like that I'm starting a vlog about reading it and then don't show y'all reading me, me reading the first 300 pages but whatever. Oh my god! I dropped my brush. She's okay. Now let me do this side. Oh I guess I can talk about boys. That's another thing I could talk about, like my sexual orientation and everything. So I have found that I'm straight. I am absolutely supportive of the LGBTQ community and I am so pro-gay marriage, like all of that. I've just found that personally for me that I'm straight. I mean, if a woman, if I ever did fall in love with a woman, it's not like I'd be closed off to dating her, but I have never found myself sexually attracted to a woman before like I have been with guys I mean you know so that's just kind of what it how it is like I don't know it's just I've never really I just haven't now I haven't dated anybody though I haven't dated well I've dated but I haven't had like a boyfriend or like kissed anybody yet and that's just because like I'm so focused on school and my education right now and my health that I just don't have time and that's just the truth I don't have time to get in this crazy long relationship I just don't wow I really should have like waxed my unibrow like I have a tiny tiny unibrow it's not cute <laughs> and like my lip and stuff I have to wax girls out there who have hair you're not alone. I always felt so alone in school. More women actually aren't shaving anymore, which I mean, yeah, that, that's like cool and everything and like more power to you. Like I support it if you wanna do it. Um, I personally really like shaving, so I'm gonna keep doing it. As long as you're not like judging me, then I'm not gonna judge you. Like women shouldn't have to shave if they don't want to. If you don't want to, then don't do it. I myself have to shave. <laughs> and wax and everything. I actually was watching this girl called Freely the Banana Girl. She is very, very extreme, like very crazy opinionated. Like it's her way or it's the highway. She's like a vegan. She tries to promote veganism and everything, which I think is great. Like if you're a vegan, that's amazing. But she says if people aren't vegan that they're like murderers and just like these horrible people and she like says that eating eggs are bad because they're like period blood or like little baby chicks so she like is against killing any animal which you know like that's fine you know like i'm never i'm not a judgmental person generally but one thing that was shocking to me i was watching her videos and she had one titled I've had an abortion and yes, I would do it again. Now listen, I am so pro-choice, like up to a certain extent, I don't think full term abortion is okay. I think after the first trimester, like that's a little too long gone and you should carry out the pregnancy. At first, like I still am pro-choice in that, like in the sense that if you feel like you're not ready or whatever, just make the decision by the first trimester. And yeah, so I'm fine with that. It's just like kind of crazy to me that she sits here and she's like, oh, like don't kill animals. I won't even eat an egg because it's a potential to be like a baby chick. And, but she's like, but I've had abortions mm -hmm. and I would do it again. Like, are you kidding me? <laughs> I was like about to throw up. I was like, girly, you are crazy. And then in the video, she says, which this is true, she's like, well, there's so many, um, well, she said it a lot angrier than I did. She was angry. She's like, there's so many uh, people in the world that don't have homes, so many children who live in the foster care system and 
no nobody cares what happens like they're like pro-life but nobody cares about their life after which is true absolutely 100 percent agree with that however she doesn't realize that if people didn't hunt and eat animals then we'd be overpopulated with animals <laughs> like she doesn't seem to grasp that like that's why we have wildlife like uh, like people like why they hunt deer and everything like I'm never gonna hunt a deer like I could never personally kill something the dog needs in. I don't even want to know what the heck you're doing okay. um but like yeah he I just like found her to be a little like like that was shocking to me I was like so you don't like, I don't know. It just, it was a lot. It was a lot. I just found it to be hypocritical in a way. Like, she's so against, like, ending life. Like, even, like, eggs. She's so against it. <laughs> she does that, and I'm like, okay. That's so confusing. Like, I don't understand, but <laughs> whatever. She also, like, is really, really big on... Wow, this looks horrible. Like, I'm just gonna say it. It looks really bad. She's like saying that no woman should shave and that we need to like give up all of this stuff. She doesn't believe in shampoo or conditioner so she like doesn't really wash her hair which also like I'm, I'm never somebody that is like oh well that's disgusting like it's your body you do you. What I have a problem with is she tries to force her lifestyle on other people. I don't appreciate that. I don't like to be told that I don't really love animals if I if I am not a vegan. It's a little far-fetched. Hold on one second, you guys. Sorry, y'all. My daddy needed me for a second. So, yeah, but that was all I really had on the freely thing. I just don't appreciate her uh, judgments. Like, they're kind of really horrible. I don't know. It's just like... I just don't like it when people try to like do what she's doing like I'm totally okay with her being vegan not shaving not showering like whatever that is so up to you but to like try to force those things on other people and then tell them they're stupid if they don't do it and that they're murderers and horrible people that's not okay <laughs> no don't say that about people that's rude now I'm just gonna put on some eyeliner this eye look is the worst I'm just gonna say it it's horrible I'm not sure what happened, but it's not cute, so just ignore it. I've already said I'm not a beauty guru, I'm not a makeup artist. I should have just done what I normally do, and I didn't, so <laughs> yeah. Some liner, liquid liner. And yes, I tug at my eye. I know it causes premature wrinkles, but I don't know how to do it any other way. I've tried without the, me, the tugging. doesn't work. I don't put makeup on very often, so I think I'm okay. Oh my god, this is so nerve-wracking. Killing myself. I already fucked up. That's about as good as it's gonna get today. I'm gonna film some videos tonight though. I think I'm gonna film like a February wrap up even though didn't really read a ton in February. God, I can't see. Maybe like a TBR even though we're already pretty deep into March. I wanna start like doing drawings because that's like really fun to do. I'm trying to be more, I feel like if I have a TBR, I won't be so like it won't be so difficult to find a good book to read because that's my big problem after I finish a book I can never figure out what I want to read next oh my god I made it worse oh, I just fucked that up here we go those are the liner that's the liner I mean it was horrible this is the cover girl I did not want that one I wanted my Sephora I no wonder it was going on rough I couldn't get it to fill in properly I had to go kept going over it so I'm gonna let that dry I want this brown and I just put it on my bottom lash line and just smudge. There we go. There we go. This has been a boring video. I'm not even sure I'm going to upload it. It's not been pleasant. Mascara. Here's my scare. My brother is <laughs> playing the drums lately and it has been loud in the house. And he actually had to have surgery he had to have a pineapple cyst surgery it caused him to have to be down for a little bit he 
really was having trouble. He's got like a such a really, really long, crazy incision. Like it's it's like a 12 inch incision on his backside. And it was crazy, like crazy. So that's another reason I haven't really been filming. I know excuses, excuses. Look close up, my makeup looks horrible from head to toe. When I go back up, it doesn't look horrible, but not good either, you know? One more time. I don't wear falsies either, just because I have pretty long lashes. And plus falsies just are uncomfortable. <laughs> like I've worn them to prom and it was uncomfortable. God, I did not like prom at all. I, my junior prom, I didn't, I just went with my girlfriends and that was actually an okay prom. And I actually had my very first dance at my junior prom. I danced with a really sweet guy. I just really liked and then I didn't like him like that. He was just like, I liked him as like a friend. But I got kind of annoyed because this guy that I've had a crush on since like sixth grade, he has always been so mean to me. And it's like if a guy even talks to me, he would get weird. He like went up to this guy. This Now mind you, the crush that I had, and I didn't ha have a crush on him at this point, but the crush that I had on him, he had, he doesn't talk to me anymore. Like he used to talk to me. We used to be friends or like acquaintances, I guess, but we don't talk anymore. And he like acts like I'm invisible. He has actually gone up to a group of people that I'm in and will say hi to each individual person and not say hi to me. And like, obviously he's doing it to make a point because who the hell goes and says hi to each individual person in a group? Like, you normally just walk into a group and say, hey, y'all, like, or hey, guys, whatever. Like, seriously, so stupid. He, like, went up to the guy I was dancing with and high-fived him and said something so, like, derogatory and sexual about me. Like, not about me. Like, it was just, like, tapped out or whatever. Like, gross. Like, can't remember exactly what it was, but it was gross. And I was like, you had to ruin that moment for me. You had to come in here and do that because he does that all the time. And he's just a jackass. Like, I could, I, I don't know. I don't know why I ever even had a crush on him. It was stupid. That was junior prom. And then we went to the after prom. And then we went to my friend's house. And yeah. And we were supposed to stay the night. I'm using bronzer, by the way. It's the Milani bronzer in 04 in Glow. So I actually was supposed to stay the night at my friend's house. But... I didn't because I have really bad anxiety and I have a lot of trouble staying at people's houses, staying the night. It's just part of the anxiety that I have, I've always been that way, and I just have a hard time staying the night. I'm worried my family's had like a lot of trauma at night, like the trauma we've had has occurred at night. Because of that, nighttime is a really scary time for me. I actually have a really hard time sleeping at night too. If I try to go to bed early, I end up waking up at midnight panicked, and then I'm up all night. So, I just have a really hard time with that. I'm going to take some more setting powder and contour this to help kind of tone down the craziness that is that bronzer. Oh my god, I just dumped half of it on my floor. So then my senior prom was really hard because the, uh, about a week before... A friend of mine died and she it was actually my best friend ever my best friend in the world my best friend's um boyfriend and you know we were friends and at the time we I was mad at him for something um you know just stupid stuff and then he got in a car accident and he died and uh he wasn't drinking wasn't on drugs like no that's not what happened because I know because he's a teen that'll be like a assumption I just I've already contoured my ugh, I've already done my chin it's fine I knew that would be like an assumption just because he's a teenager he was not teen so we had prom that week it was hard to enjoy prom and I mean we really didn't want to go but the year before this the uh, person that died, which I just, I don't want to, I don't want to say names just because I, I, I don't want to, I, I don't know if the family didn't want me to talk about it or something. I just don't want to like violate privacy or anything. The person who died and my best friend, uh, her, they were boyfriend and girlfriend. They actually won prom queen and king the year before. 
So my best friend was like, we should go because I need to do the crowning. And then actually, so it was crazy on prom day, we got up, we went to his visitation. I have never cried more in my life. The people, his, his, it, they were so devastated and I can't even talk about it. It was, it was not, it wasn't something that was, um, it was, it was just scary and sad. Sorry. It's really hard to talk about still, but so we went to his visitation and then we went and got ready for prom. Then we went to prom after prom, except we, I mean, we went home early, me and my friend. We didn't stay the night at anybody's house. We went home early. Then the next morning we woke up and went to his funeral. Senior prom was not a good memory for me. When I think about my senior prom, all I think about is my friend died and my best friend's boyfriend died and, and horribly sad and just painful. And I mean, it was hard. I've been to a lot of funerals. I have had so many family members and friends die and it's just kind of crazy how many people that have just been taken from this world. It's, in, it's insane. And I have a very strong fear of death, especially with my family members. I have mild agoraphobia because of it. I don't like to leave my house. And that's mainly what my panic attacks are always about, death. But I mean, I've been dealing with death since I was four years old. But let's talk about something a little lighter. Zoe, read by Zoe, is doing a 24 hour readathon on March 30th and I think I'm gonna do it. That will be fun. Don't know if my mom will. The weekends are really like important to my dad. Like he really likes to spend time with us because he works all week and he really likes to have his weekends with us, especially with my mom. Like they go, like they, they're so funny. Being together for 25 years, you think, actually more than 25 years, you'd think that they would like not be as crazy about each other but they are literally so crazy about each other. It's insane. Like they're so in love and I honestly like get, it's nauseating. Like <laughs> they'll just be like kissing in the kitchen and I'm like, okay, you guys, let's not. <laughs> like, it's so funny. I hope that I find a love like that. If I don't, I'm not getting married. I'm not gonna marry somebody just to do it. I'm gonna make sure that I'm in love. Like, even if I know that like some people are in love at first and then they fall out of love and you know, that happens and that could happen to me. But I do also, I know people who have gotten married not for the right reasons. So, and they've ended a divorce. So it happens and I don't, I don't want that to be the reason basically. Lipstick, I'm almost done. It's been a long filming session. So I'm just going to use the Vivid Matte Liquid Lip in, by Maybelline in the color O2. And by the way, I used the highlighter is by Milani. And what else? Oh, and I used a Morphe brush. I do not like Morphe brushes. I tried this out to see if I'd like it. I don't like it. It's really rough on the skin. I don't know what the hop is about it, to be completely honest. I don't see it. Liquid lip. I actually have pretty good lips for the most part. Like, Maybe some people will disagree that I could get lip filler. I won't. Um, I'm not, I don't ever want to get plastic surgery. Don't judge people who get plastic surgery at all. Like, it's your body. If that makes you happy, then, you know, that's okay. But I'm wanting, I want self-love and everything and be happy with the uh, body God gave me. And, you know, like, I just don't, like, uh pretty good lips but if there were things like of course there's things I'd change like my uh chest I have no boobs so I would like get a boob job if I were like into it not crazy big maybe like a b cup and then I would get my nose done um well actually I have my granddaddy's nose and I've grown to love my nose and my granddaddy died when my mama was six and I look exactly like him and I have his nose. Head on, it doesn't look bad, but when I turn, it kind of just long and it hooks. And it's, I've always been made fun of for that in school. That's 
insecurity of mine. But I have a big ass, <laughs> like I do. I mean, for a white girl, I got a big ass. I really like my lips. They're pretty naturally big. I like my brows if I didn't pick them. <laughs> and yeah, so I mean, I have a lot of things I love about myself as well as I don't like about myself, but just things that you gotta learn to love. So the last step is setting spray before I say bye. So Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Let's set it and forget it. And there we go. It's set. So that's it for this Get It Ready With Me. It was all over the place. I'm so sorry. Sorry if it was boring. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see y'all later. Bye.